Hey, hello, once again, Robin from City Sewing in New York. Here's the machine I was just working on it. It's perfectly fine. You know, this has a big honky noise inside. I, you know, the motor was, a, um, the bell was off and everything was off. So I put it back together. The machine is working fine. Now I see here, this machine has an issue that the customer did not tell me about it. I just saw it and I want to show you. It's a nice tip and you should guys should take a note of that. Uh, Cause it's, it's, you know, it's a tip that you should be able to um, fix it yourself. Let me show uh, you. It shows me the machine is in the center position, but when I go here, I see that the needle actually, it's not in the center. As you can see, you have a red dot right on the center of the foot, meaning that the needle should be on the center position. Because I selected here the center position. You know, if I press on this number five for zigzag, you know, I could change the zigzag of, a, of this. And, you know, after I change it, I could make any changes I want to this. The machine is going to do zigzag. I'm going to show you. It's very important that tip for you guys, so keep an eye on it. See the zigzag? Still, everything is on the right side. Look at this. Like the foot, it's actually doing the zigzag, but as you can see, it's almost on top of the center and all the way to the right. So that's completely wrong. I'm going to select again the center needle to bring the machine back to the center position, number one, and see what happens. See, it's still off. So how you fix that? How you center your needle? Well, here it is. Um, this is your needle bar. So right over here, that screw you see there, each machine have it. This is what makes the needle move left, right, or center. So when I make a zigzag, this part is gonna take and move left to right, left to right. So what do I need to do this? This is an eccentric, like I said, you remember? You wanna come from the side right here and loosen that, that screw. Once you lose that screw, then you're gonna look at your needle right here. All I did was just turn this, this, this eccentric here left to right to get it right on the center. Now, I just gotta go there and make sure I tighten the screw. Once I make this tight, that center is not gonna move. So the needle is gonna stay on the center position. You see that now? Look at that. Now, if I move, if I select the zigzag, you see how the stitches? looks perfectly left and right and the center of the foot stays in the middle so that means that the machine now it's centered and i press zero again it should be perfectly centered so remember this is an eccentric right here so just gotta lose that screw from the side because there's a screw that holds it there so when you move these like that left to right you're actually moving the needle left to right and that's how you get a center this is the same for any other machine okay Look at that, that's the one that holds the whole needle bar completely. Okay, I okay? um, um, uh, hope this um, could help you if you have an issue like this, that the needle is not centered. Like I said, it's just an eccentric and it's the same for all the machine, they all have it. Any machine that does zigzag will have an eccentric there that you can move it left to right to get exactly in the center. Because sometimes you wanna work on a, on a zigzag and you wanna make a straight line on top of elastic or wire or something. And if you don't have it in the center, you are definitely gonna damage your machine. So make sure you center that with a centric, tighten up the screw and everything's fine. Thank you. Robin from City Sewing in New York, www.citysewing.com. Let's go, bye-bye.